Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up RPCS3 for your Linux machine so you can emulate and play PS3 games. Really, really cool. This is the latest version, this is for 2011. And so, feel free to check this out. There are a lot of changes that have happened. So, first of all, we need to download RPCS3. RPCS3, Google it. I'll provide a link to this in the description. Go on to here and click download or download from up there download for linux i'll have a separate video for windows just wait for this to download i've already got it downloaded so i'm going to cancel it next what we need is the ps3 firmware so if you google ps3 firmware go to here grab the latest firmware click the download button for some reason it, it, it was never downloading it for me when i clicked it so a little hack that i figured out is if you right click click save link and then just click save i've already got it downloaded so i'm going to cancel that's if you know clicking it doesn't work it might do didn't for me at the time so i just figured this way out next go to vim.net so i want to say that this video is not condoning piracy it is for educational purposes the i own a ps3 i own three ps3s to be to be exact i have the game that I'm going to be testing and I recommend for you that you physically own the game not a fitness not a requirement in the sense that you won't work it's it's a more of a legal requirement and I recommend that you own a ps3 as well so from here you can download the games again this video is not condoning piracy for educational purposes go to ps3 and wherever you want I'm going to download minecraft because this is one that I've got and it's a small file so click download I already got downloaded, so I'm actually gonna cancel it to be fair. So cancel that. Next, what you want to do is go to where you downloaded everything and we to your game, just right click it, click extract here, and then feel free to organize it because in here is the game itself. And what we want to do is run this. If I try and double click it, it you know won't let me run it. What you want to do is right click, go to properties, go to permissions, click allow executing file as program, and you just double click it now, the, it will launch. Oh, it, the other thing that you can do is if I close this a second, you can open up terminal, type in chmod777, drag and drop this bad boy on and now from here obviously make sure you're in this folder so uh, the way i do i'll just do is like cd downloads ls there it is and you could what i would recommend is rename it so it's easier to type into here and you can just do dot four slash rpcs3 dot app image so you can either double click it or do this method and the eye in image is uppercase so either one is fine i'll go back to the other method i'll just double click on it or i pressed enter actually click i have a red click continue and from here go to file install firmware go to you know your downloads folder select the update shouldn't take too long it'll compile the ppus as well so just wait for all that to you know successfully do it might take a little longer depending on your computer next you this is optional but i recommend it go to pads and configure your pads you can do as many as you want or just do player one to feel free to do keyboard dual shock free for a ps3 controller ps4 for a ps4 controller and dual sense for a another like the ps5 controller and ev dev is for other devices and go to keyboard if I click that and I press delete, as you can see, it's got the delete key. Now, so I'm going to leave you as default, but that is what you do. Literally, just click on one. If I press O, it's now O. And I'm going to go to restore defaults. Click save if you, you know, do create one. And now, let's open up a game. So what we're going to do is click the open button. Go to, obviously, where we've got our game for me, some downloads. And just click that folder, click choose. Let me try it again. Add games. Downloads. 
there we go okay so just double click it first time will always take a little bit longer and it's just building the spu cache minecraft is the game that i like to test out for the simple reason if i'm recording my screen as well that's using resources and the ps3 emulator though the progress is getting really good and on some machines the original uncharted runs better than it did on the original ps3 that's just one of the latest updates to it it can still be you know a bit slow on certain parts if i'm obviously recording so this isn't that heavy of a game so let's see how it goes when we get inside of it i can confirm when i was playing minecraft earlier on it was smooth now that i'm recording might be a bit of a different you know experience but we'll see when we actually get inside the game generate the spawn area it will load up momentarily there we go we have now loaded everything up press x there we go everything seems to be running very smooth i remember when i first created an rpcs free video for this and in that i remember it was running pretty laggy while i was recording the performance is a lot better as you can see so that's it thanks for watching i'm just gonna click x click yes and that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video